The Beaverls are a proud species, fiercely protective of their territory. Dangerous enough with tooth and tail, they have adapted to the Hellborn threat by forming the Lancer Brotherhood, led by the fearless leader Sir Bensington himself. If Bensington's giant lance isn't intimidating enough, he mounts his trusty ferret Balric to attempt to seek and destroy all who stand in the Legion's path. Sir Bensington is a melee ganking agility hero with exceptional crowd control abilities. He is able to initiate combat from afar utilizing his adept lancing abilities. Sir Bensington's first ability, Joust, dashes towards the target location, impaling the first enemy hero hit, dealing magic damage and stunning the target. Royal Stomp, Sir Bensington's second ability, is an area of effect spell that pulls in nearby enemy units, slowing them. Lance Along is Sir Bensington's third ability, which passively increases his attack range. This ability also generates charges every time Sir Bensington attacks, stopping at 5 charges. When activated, his next attack not only gets bonus range, but also bonus damage based on the number of charges you have. Sir Bensington's ultimate ability is Nightfall. Sir Bensington will target an enemy hero and leap high into the air, becoming invulnerable. The target will see a growing shadow that follows them while Sir Bensington is in the air. After a short delay, Sir Bensington will then crash upon the target hero, dealing heavy magic damage and slowing all enemy units in a large area. Staff and the Master enhances the cast range of this ability, making it global, and also adds bonus damage. Sir Bensington excels in an aggressive dual lane, utilizing his lane partner's slows and stuns to land his joust. Once a joust is hit, a quick royal stomp and lance along will finish off most foes. When maxing Lance along, Sir Bensington is able to deal insane amounts of harassment and easily take control of a solo lane. Immediately after finishing my Staff of the Master, I look for an opportunity to showcase my new global range. I notice Riftwalker overexiting top and make quick work of her with a Nightfall Joust and Lance combo. After hitting level 6, I head mid to help assist my ally. The moment I am within striking distance, I call out to my teammate to engage and immediately cast Nightfall on the enemy Dampier. With a perfectly timed tongue tie, I land a huge ultimate and we quickly dispose of our enemy. After using Joust to interrupt Devour, I use my Royal Stomp to displace the Devo, causing him to miss the hook and save my teammate's life. Once realizing that my abilities were on cooldown and I was stuck in a 2v1 situation, I used my ultimate as an escape mechanism and safely ran away. When playing against a solo hero, I grab a Hatchet, Blightstones, Health Potion, and three minor totems as my starting items. When facing an aggressive dual ranged lane or a hard hitting babysitter, I grab an Iron Buckler on top of my Hatchet and Blight runes. In both scenarios, I pick up a Logger's Hatchet because not only is it a great item in general, but with his E maxed, Sir Bensington gets the full benefits of having a Hatchet as a melee hero while boasting a 328 attack range. If I am going for a ganking tank role, I usually build Ghost Marchers for the extra mobility, Helm of the Black Legion, Shaman's Headdress, Nullstone, Demonic Breastplate, and of course Staff of the Master so I could rain death on my enemies from a global distance. If I want to go for the carry route, I build Steam Boots, Dawnbringer, Nullstone or Shrunken Head depending on the situation, Brutalizer, Savage Mace, and Abyssal Skull. Just like with the Hatchet, Abyssal Skull and Brutalizer grant the melee passive even though he has a ranged attack. Alright guys, as a bonus clip I just wanted to show you my favorite moment while playing Sir Bensington. In this scene my team is pushing up the bottom lane and we are about to engage in an epic team fight. The enemy keeper blinks in and catches all five of us in his ulti. The enemy Riftwalker and Gladiator both queue up their abilities and it's looking grim for the team. Using Nightfall I burst out of the keeper's root and disjoint both Riftwalker's and Gladiator's devastating AoE combo. After all Hellborn spells have been used, I land directly in the middle of the fight and set up my teammate to land a perfect 5-man elemental void. We end up cleaning the entire Hellborn team and proceed to win the game. Thank you again for watching another Heroes of New Earth Hero Spotlight, featuring Sir Bensington. With the suspension of Early Access, this hero will release to everyone on May 3rd along with his friends Sir Benzalot and Sir Terrawin, ready to fight for the Legion Force.